Hello everyone, this is Brian with Swift Gaming and I wanted to create a video today showing how to create the Conan Exiles local sandbox server. Uh, I'd give a shout out to uh, MBR at, on the Conan Exile forum for what I used as the basis for this. Uh, you can go to uh, this link here and see what his steps are, but uh, I seems like he has gone a little far in some things that aren't necessarily necessary or they were not things or steps that I needed to use. Uh, the first part of it is pretty correct here, right? You need to get the Steam command uh, if you don't already have it. If you don't, you can download it through this link. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, and once you've done it, you want to unzip it into the Steam command folder that you create or the Conan server folder, depending on which one you decide to do. It doesn't have to be here exactly, you just need to know where you put these. Once you have downloaded it and extracted it into uh, your Steam uh, command folder, uh, he suggests that you create a uh, text file with uh, this command in it, which it tells the Steam command to execute logs in anonymously and what it does is it installs the Conan server into the folder that you want it to. You can always change this destination to whatever you want it to be but and have it there. You don't have to just use the Conan server, you can call it whatever you want. And if we look, so this is, wait, 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 I forget, fetch server files bat, right? So we create the bat file. And if we look at it, we'll see that, you know, I went just step by step by what he said. Okay. Uh, if you don't know how to create a bat file, you just right click, go to the new text document. Now, you, in, on Windows, you have to go in and change the options, go to view, and right here where it says hide extensions of known file types. And I'll show you why. So the new document that we created here. So if we do test.bat and hit enter, you'll see it opened up as a notepad, right? And it, it does not look like these other uh, bat files that we have with the little gear. And it doesn't even recognize it as a batch file. If you see where we, I hover, it says type Windows batch file. I come down here and right here it says text document and the reason for that is by default windows does not overwrite the file type that you put even though you put dot bat it still leaves that there so if we go back and look you'll see our file is actually called test.bat.txt so all you have to do is go back go in, in there remove that dot text hit enter then hit yes and it changes it to a windows batch file and then you right click and edit and then you make your changes okay let's go ahead and get rid of that then once that's done you double click on your bat file you'll see a command line window pop up if you have a good internet connection and it will start downloading the conan server uh, it's gonna be a big file it's about 12 gigs uh, once that's all done uh, should take a little while right so it's gonna be about 12 gig size you will see Let's go back into our server. Oh, here it is. Wrong screen. All right, so it looks something like this. Now, uh, he does mention some things where it says saved. Uh, and here, where it's talking about um, Conan server. When, he's, when you get down further here, where he says about setting up the config file, you don't necessarily have to do that. At least I didn't have to. And I did not find these files until after I had actually started the server. And the server is as simple as double clicking on this right here. Conan Sandbox Server .exe. Now this will only work uh, this way to get the LAN working. You can't get it uh, through any other means on your local LAN. Now you will quite possibly see this error right here. And basically what that means is your Steam client is up. So if you go 
close your Steam client and make sure all of your processes are turned off. Uh, let's see. So you can go right task manager, right click and go to task manager and make sure that's turned off and then scroll down, make sure all of your steam is uh, turned off as well, okay? Uh, and the task on these is not hurting anything. It'll start right back up once you do it. Then if we double click on that, the exe file, you should see a command prompt come up and start seeing the server spin up. Actually, nope, that's the wrong one. The, uh, the reason I say that's the wrong one is it does spin the server up, but the one you want is the start, start server dot that. And the reason for that, is this is what we was looking for here. Uh, if we look at that bat file, you'll see it says command server exe dash log. And what that does is it lets us see the server is it's coming up or down, okay? And once you see all this, you can tell that it's actually up and running. And we can close these windows, break up our Steam client, again, because Steam will start working now. Okay, once it comes up, okay, you want to go to View, Servers, okay, and you want to look at LAN. Once it refreshes and the server comes up, you will see it pop up here. So let's do a refresh. As soon as the server is ready, it may take a little while for it to come up, so let's just wait. Okay, so, all right, so right here, this is what we're looking for. Game engine initialized, full startup. All right, so this should start showing our server. All right, so we're there. Cool. Now, anybody that is on your local LAN should see this. And all they have to do is hit connect. And they will be brought in to Conan on your server. That's all they have to do. All right, so. I uh, just wanted to make this quick little video to show how to do this. It's a real simple process. Uh, some of the steps that MBR may have put on here may, uh, may be a little overkill. And he even mentioned that he didn't know if they were necessary or not, but he went ahead and did it anyway. Uh, but, you know, go ahead and read it and then use it at your own. And if you have any questions, you know, leave in the comments and I'll be happy to help you. Or you can go to this form. This comments uh, conanxlsforum.com this topic and they will uh, help you there as well thanks for watching and happy bike gaming bye bye